We've talked about LastPass on this channel before. Hell, if you are here, chances are you're already using this password manager yourself. No doubt it is a good service with many awesome features and a great free version. Oh, wait, right. So LastPass's free version was just changed and became considerably worse. And that warrants a very important question. What should you do about it? So today I will focus on some great free alternatives to LastPass that won't steal your data and will even cover why it's important to get yourself a reputable password manager in the first place. If you find this kind of content interesting, our channel is exactly what you need. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if this video helps you. Let's start with the infamous announcement. What does it say and what does it mean for LastPass free users? First things first, previously LastPass allowed unlimited devices for their free users, but starting March 16th, it became a choice unlimited mobile or unlimited desktop devices. So now you have to choose between having LastPass on your desktops or mobile devices. You will have three chances to switch between device types, but that's it. After those chances are spent, the last device type that you used is locked behind your account forever. If you think that's bad, well, it doesn't end there. Second thing that's more important in my opinion, starting May 17th, free users will no longer be able to use email support. Yep, the one thing I so condemn about other services is now here with LastPass. Of course, their library of self-help resources is still there for you, but it's not always helpful enough and we all know how that can be really time consuming. Those changes may not seem like too much of a difference to some of you, but the overwhelming majority of LastPass free users seem to have a very specific opinion about these changes. The point is those changes will draw a very distinct line between paying customers and free users. Now, what are the options for those users? Well, the obvious one is to switch to premium package. Or if you're looking to switch it up and grab another one, I totally get it. Thankfully, there are plenty of decent LastPass alternatives, so please do not skip a password manager altogether. But before we get into those, I know that some of you guys like to read instead of listen. For you, I have a comprehensive article prepared. Click that link now or find it down in the description when you're done. Best of all, if you visit providers via our website, you can snap up a great deal too. After all, you do get what you pay for in this life. And ultimate protection can be unblocked, but at a small price. So what are the alternatives to LastPass? There are a couple starting with NordPass. If you've heard of NordVPN before, then the common NordPass should have already told you what we're dealing with here. NordPass has a free version that you can use across multiple devices, mobile and desktop alike. There is no limit to how many passwords you can keep, which not every free password manager can allow. However, you can only have one account at the same time on any given device. So you won't really be able to run it on two desktops and a mobile device, which is okay for some people, but it's something to keep in mind. Another good option to consider is Zoho Vault. Amongst free password managers, this is the only one packing a staggering amount of features available free of charge. Adding up the fact that you can store unlimited passwords on an unlimited number of devices makes up a great password manager for sure. Being able to use it offline and set up two-factor authentication are just the cherries on top. Although this cake is not without a drop of salt, as Zoho Vault only has mobile apps, if you would like to use it on desktop, you'll have to go to the browser extension, which I understand it's not optimal for many people, including myself. Just keep that in mind. And the third option is Key Pass. This one is a little different as it is focused on the tech savvy users. Being an open source project, Key Pass is highly customizable. You can build its functionality from many options, which is extremely difficult for casual users. Despite that, Key Pass does offer many great security features, including a password generator, encryption, and two factor authentication. The hardest part is to kind of set it all up. Now, I do want to just let you know that if you're put off from changing password managers simply because the thought of the whole migration process gives you a bit of a headache, no worries. You can find simple instructions on our website. Find the link down in the description. I just want to say that it really doesn't matter how long you spend online. Heck, even the casual internet user will have at least three sets of passwords to remember and store somewhere safe. 
I'm looking at you, Grandad, in the back. The main point is they add an extra layer of security. Data within password managers is protected by encryption ciphers. Most password managers can also analyze your passwords and propose changes if you say you have a weak password or compromised password. That is right, a password manager can scan the internet to find out if your login data was leaked and promptly help you to change your credentials. Not enough? Well, how do you like an extra layer of security in the form of two-factor authentication? Some password managers will even allow you to have a multi-layer protection that will make your password vault completely bulletproof. In this age where cybercrime is more prevalent than ever, all those security measures are less overprotection and kind of more of a necessity. Besides, you don't even have to invest in all this crazy protection, since a good quality free password manager kind of gives you the basics, baseline of protection kind of a bare minimum, if you will. Having said all that, many do look to premium plans for a more advanced level of protection and features. You just have to ask yourself, is it worth saving money on your password security? I'll leave that answer to you. So if you are on the fence about investing, don't forget you can find out way more information on our website. If this video helps you in any way, please leave it a like. Our comment section also feels kind of lonely this time of day. So if you have something to say, go wild, just go for it. As for the subscription, why not if you like this video and this type of content? New videos will come very soon. Bottom line here, LastPass has lost a lot of credibility in the eyes of their free users. So perhaps it's time to make a change. NordPass, Zoho Vault and KeyPass are three examples of very good password managers that you can access for free. So whether you're a LastPass veteran or a password manager novice, trying them out is always a good choice. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.